want to do some gay stuff. Back when my ears worked, I called 911 a couple of times. I'm gonna smoke the eyeshadow out into the blush. I thought this was gonna turn out horrible and I was gonna screw it up really bad. I'm trying to go hardcore into long form content. I wanna do some gay stuff. I'm trying to complain less. I'm trying to complain less. That's not gonna start today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My hope and dream and goal and plan is to do three YouTube videos a week. One of them being I'm doing makeup and talking about stuff. Now get ready with me. A little hey. You wanna be pals? And I'm also trying to improve my skills as an orator. I wanna be someone that can hold a one-sided conversation just talking about a topic unscripted for a prolonged period of time. So right now, I'm working up to 30 minutes. 30 minutes is my goal. It would probably help if I did some warm-ups first, huh? God, life is a nightmare. I'm dyeing my hair all night long. Do you all have those life lessons that you have to learn over and over and over again? Because I sure do. And one of those that I keep having to learn is that I'm not bad at makeup. I just can't see. <laughs> when I pull my mirror right here, my makeup is so c Can you say cut on this app? I'll bleep it. And that style of long form speaking about a topic is important because I'm trying to do a podcast. Brody, why are you doing a podcast if you can't hear? Well. My plan is that it will also be filmed and streamable on this app so that people who are deaf and hard of hearing can watch it too. Hopefully that will be the second YouTube video in the week. And I'm not gonna tell you what the third one's gonna be because I'm still working on it. I know what I want it to be, but I don't know if it's gonna end up being that. I'm out of foundation. I'm out of the right foundation, so I'm using this shade that I don't normally use. Okay, it's not that bad. It's a little darker. It's a little darker, but it's workable. Work. I also feel a lot of guilt about not signing in videos because I know how much it means. As a deaf person, I know how much it means to see a video where a person's signing. ASL is not my first language, so I think in English and then translate it to ASL and doing that when you're speaking is pretty hard. I'm not around many deaf and hard of hearing people in real life. I'm not around other people in real life very often. You know, my translation tends to be more English. Sorry, I have makeup on my hand and I'm trying not to oh, English <laughs> to ASL. For me, it tends to be more of an English translation. This is why I need to be close to a mirror. You see all these little black flecks right here? It looks like maybe just holes not filled in. No, that's a black glitter that I somehow put on my freaking forehead. When did that happen? Where did it come from? It's so hard for me to film makeup because this is how close I need the mirror to be able to see. Feel free to let me know how the sound quality is on this video. I filmed with this camera a few days ago. I used my shotgun mic, but today I'm just recording straight from the camera and I'm not sure what the audio is like. So I have my little headphones in so that I can pause. I have a show playing right here. I'm watching a court case, obviously. I don't know about you, but when I like to chill out and unwind, I like to watch live streams of court cases. Or you know sometimes when they like live stream on C-SPAN, like Congress is happening or whatever? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but I love watching it. I almost went into politics. I really almost went into politics. I would be really good at anything emergency. I do my best work in emergency situations. I've been watching a lot of 911 calls lately where they like play the 911 call, but they have a transcript on the screen. And it seems there are a lot of kinks that need to be worked out within the 911 operator system. Have you ever called 911? Back when my ears worked, I called 911 a couple of times. Once was for a car accident that I was in, and this was when my hearing was starting to go, so I couldn't really understand the 911 operator very well. And then a few years before that, I called 911 with a friend. We saw some abuse happening. We called 911. I think we called 911. There's a chance we called like local non-emergency services. I don't remember what happened, but I've called 911 twice in my life that I can recall figure out what eyes I'm doing today. I did this brow a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, that was so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. It's this one. Look at this brow. It's kind of, it's a little bit villain, but it doesn't look like cartoony. I've been trying to recreate that brow that I did, but I didn't film it when I did it. 
so I have no idea how I made it happen. I'm almost positive I did a base of powder, sharp angled brush with a really dark or black powder, and outlined it at the tail, and then went in with a liquid pen or something like that with my little hairs and tail end. I think that's what I did. I've been trying to recreate it, and so far it hasn't happened. But we're, we're doing good today. These ones are surprisingly symmetrical. Okay, I don't know what makeup I'm doing. I know I saved one on Instagram that I seen one that was really pretty. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I found it. Okay, let's see if we can pull that off. I think we can. I think we can. I have this new camera that's really cute and she's doing really good work and I control her from my phone. If you have a camera, your camera probably does that. Most of the cameras that I've worked with have done that. Love that. gonna turn out horrible and I was gonna it up really bad. Ooh. I thought this was gonna turn out horrible and I was gonna screw it up really bad. I am the color of mayonnaise or a hard-boiled egg. If you put me outside where the planes fly, take all my clothes off, girl, I would glow for miles. I would be the best traffic director you've ever seen. Just don't think I look good tan, to be honest. I used to be such a tan child because we lived at the beach. Literally, you cross the street and you're in the ocean sort of thing. But we moved from there over 10 years ago now. I haven't really done much oceaning since then and have since uh, developed a bit of an ocean phobia. It's so deep. First of all, it's vast. Second of all, I don't know what's down there. And I don't know if I have more of a problem with the ocean or the lake because sometimes lakes are built on top of graveyards. Ugh. This Prados palette, this blush palette, it's real The formulas are great. All the Prados formulas are great. Blend out really nice, and I like this color story. I would be interested in more blush palettes from them. Ooh, if they did a blush palette, like, based around that one blush they have. Hold on, I have it right here. And I had been looking for an orange blush for so long, and they sent me one in the mail. Look how orange it is. It's even more neon bright in person, but it doesn't apply neon bright. It blends really nicely. I would love to see a blush palette from Prados based around this color. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. We're gonna use some of that today. I usually use, I don't know, at least three different blushes, but usually closer to five or six different blushes. I'm trying to paint a landscape of blush. You know what I mean? Different blushes in different locations serve different purposes. If you do a darker color up here, it pinches the face in and makes you look a little more snatched. I love doing a little bit of a brighter color, more in the orange peachy range. I love this one. I also love from the one size palette. This is not a blush, but they should make it a blush. This orange right here. Oh, sickening. Sickening. I like to use these darker colors. Put a little, little bit of this bright one right here and flick it up to sort of mimic the shadow where the jawbone would, I mean, the cheekbone would be, excuse me. See how that, oh, oh. And then we're gonna take this uh, more muted tone. I like this one because it feels a little more cool toned to me. I don't know if that's true or not. Take it on a fluffy brush that's tapered, but a little bit longer than a traditional fluffy brush. Take a little bit of that on here and do a dot of it and then blend it out. And you could do that same concept with a bronzer. I even, when I'm not doing blush, when I'm not doing blush, I'll do that same concept with a bronzer. I'll use a light cool tone in this area. Do just literally a dot of it and buff out the edges of that dot. 
it just gives it an extra, you know? Yeah, you know. That TikTok shop, they are shooting themselves in the foot with that thing. I tell you what, TikTok is a wasteland at the moment. It might be the downfall of TikTok. Because when everybody can become an influencer, which I'm not against people making money. I want everybody to make money. Not so much big rich people, but you know, regular people who are just trying to live and survive. I'm absolutely for those people making money. Making money on stuff they can sell online. Hell yeah, why not? But the market has become so saturated. Like I'll get four ads in a row. That means that our regular content that we usually post is getting suppressed by the app. I have 800,000 plus on my account and last night I posted a video and it took a few hours to reach 1,000 views on the post. A couple months ago it was regular for me to reach 20,000 in an hour. Partially the problem is the TikTok shop, but the main problem on my account was I switched from the creator fund to the beta program. And yeah, the beta program pays significantly better. The problem is it tanked my views because the more views you get, the more they have to pay you. If you go look on my TikTok, you can see where the numbers in views changed. I was getting hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands, million, millions, hundred thousands, hundred thousands, whatever. If you look on my page where it drops off and it goes to like 30,000 views, 20,000 views, 10,000 views, that's when I switched to the beta program. And you can see exactly when it happened. All my stuff started getting suppressed so that they wouldn't have to pay me. Of course, that's all alleged about lip gloss and why I can't wear lip gloss. It emphasizes the texture. My lip is really bumpy, not just from the flakiness, but from the shape of it. You can see in different light, you can see the bumps and stuff. And anytime I wear a gloss, it just emphasizes the bumps a lot. And it makes my lips not look good. So I prefer matte or satin if I have to. Let me know how we think of this frame that I have going on. I filmed another video a couple days ago and I had a slightly different frame. This one I lowered a little bit more, but let me know what you prefer because I'm new here and the new kid on the block. <laughs> Girl, my favorite blushes on the planet are two eyeshadows. Can I be honest with you? It's these two freaking colors. I need them to make them in a blush formula because they're a little bit too pigmented and they don't blend great as a blush. They blend well. It's a good palette. It blends well. But as a blush, I want it to blend out more, more blushy. Gorgeous like warm brick color. It's so pretty girl. It's so pretty. And we're gonna start on a big old brush. I love, if I'm trying to blend out a big area, don't use a small brush. Like this, not gonna cut it. I need something that's gonna cover more area. We're gonna smoke the eyeshadow out into the blush, which I love doing so much. You see that difference that that makes? Oh, oh, but that's what I know for now. I'll let you know if I know more later. Bye, little bird.